Hi team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 120 on the FTC K-6 through elementary practice exams for teachers in Florida that are preparing to take their teacher certification exams. This one right here is going to help review concepts and in inequalities and uh, sort of uh, algebraic, working with algebraic inequalities and equations. All right, so let's take a look at it. Number 120. Which of the following ordered pairs is the solution of the inequality? And then we have this inequality here. Y is less than or equal to negative x, negative uh, 3x minus 1. Now there's a couple parts to this. Uh, maybe we should just really quickly address the inequality part. If you had y and you had this and you had this number here, 3, I would read this as y is less than 3. And one way I could remember it's less than 3 is I could kind of draw on a, a Pac-Man. Pac-Man's going to go to the big number. Or I could, uh, I could also sketch an arrow. The arrow points to the smaller number. So when I read this, it reads y is less than 3, or you could read it as 3 is greater than y. If you wanted to represent it graphically, well, there's 0, 1, one 2, 3. Graphically, all you're saying is that y could be any value that is less than 3. So any value here. Notice that I don't, um, I don't circle it in all the way because it's not actually including 3. It's all values that are less than 3. Now, if you went a step further and we did that, then this would read y is less than or equal to 3, which means it could actually be equal to 3. So any out output that I get that is equal to 3 or less than 3 would work for y. This one here is kind of going to be similar to that. We're going to be looking for a value. We're going to be looking for a value where y is less than or equal to that value. All right? All right. That's the first matter of business we want to take care of. Now I have this inequality, so I'll, I'll just write it as uh, y is less than or equal to uh, negative 3x minus 1. We think of our x as our input. What we're going to get out is our y. Our y we consider our output. So we put in an x, we get out a y. Now I could look at these order pairs and I could order them in terms of input and I could order them in terms of output. For example, if we put in a 2, do we in fact get out a 3? Is that going to be a true statement? And the only way to figure that out is to test it. So I input a 2 for x. Do I get out a 3? Or it's not that I get out a 3, but once I find the value of this, is this value going to be greater than or equal to 3? Because that's what it has to that's what has to be the case. So if I work this out, you know, I start working it out here. Uh, 2 times negative 3 gets me negative 6 minus the 1. And I get this, negative 7. I get, is 3 less than or equal to negative 7? Or is negative 7 greater than or equal to 3? And you're saying to yourself, no, it's not. So we know that ordered pair does not work. So I could cross it out. I go to the next one. Negative 5, if I input a negative 5, do you get out a 15? Well, let's think. Um, negative 3 times negative 5, I got two negatives, so that makes a positive. So I got 15 minus 1, so less than or equal to 15. So let's see, 15 is less than or equal to 14? Is that true? Is 15 less than or equal to 14? Well, 15 actually is greater than 14, so this isn't a true statement. So I would cross out that one. Right, that, that one, um, when, I, when I input a negative 5, I don't get out. We're going to jump down to D, which is the answer. If I input a 0, what happened, what, and do I get a negative 1? Well, negative 3 times 0 is 0 minus the 1. And we continue thinking about this. So what I'm left with is negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 1. Is this a true statement? Well, it is. Because it just needs to be equal. It is, it's not less than, but it is equal. And so it meets the criteria 
for this problem. All right, so D here works. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. All these videos are sort of an introduction to core concepts in uh, number sense and operations, algebra, geometry, measurement, data analysis, and probability. As the videos go on, we get into more advanced concepts. If you need extra help, I encourage you to check out one of the workshops or sign up for some one-to-one -one tutoring. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.